Hello artists. Today's project is all about atmospheric perspective. Hopefully you've already watched the demonstration video on all about what atmospheric perspective is. In this video we're going to be doing an actual project for the week. Alright, so we start out with a blank sheet of paper and with a pencil you're going to draw the horizon line. So this is the line that separates the sky from the earth. So everything above that line will be the sky and everything below the line is the earth. Now with crayons, markers, or colored pencils, you're going to color the ground all down here and the sky all up here and poof, it's colored. All right, so here's my sky, here's my earth, and here's my horizon line separating those two things. Okay, so now we are going to set this paper aside. We'll come back to this one later and we're going to get a new sheet of paper. And turn your paper vertical so that it's a long ways up and down and not side to side. And we're going to draw about halfway through our paper. We're going to make like a square or a rectangle here. This is going to be our, I like to think of it as like the three bears. This is the papa bear sized house. If you want to use a ruler for this, you might want to do that. Or you could just use the edge of a paper. If I could pick it up and you could trace along the edge of the paper if you want to. But we're going to draw a big square or rectangle on our sheet of paper here at the bottom. So about halfway till about square. Alright, now we cut this in about halfway and make maybe a little more than halfway. And we're going to make the mama bear size square. It's going to be about that big. And then a little square right here. So it's almost like step stools going up. We have the papa bear, mama bear, and baby bear squares. All right, and then after we have drawn our squares, we're going to turn our squares into roofs with a triangle on top of each. And then decorate your squares any way you would like to. Uh, not squares, your houses. They're now houses. We're going to decorate them any way that you'd like to by adding some doors and maybe some windows. However you want to decorate your houses. Alright, so once you've de uh, drawn all of your doors, your windows, you'll color it and make it beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of movie magic so I don't waste your time. Poof. I've drawn and colored. Poof. Drawn and colored. And poof. So we have our papa bear house, our mama bear house, and our baby bear house on our sheet of paper. Alright, now it's time to assemble our project. Now there's a lot of space here at the top of the paper, right here. Lots of white space. If you are a more advanced artist, I would recommend creating some big things to go with your houses, some medium things, and some little things. So here's what I've created. I have a big tree, a medium tree, and a baby bear tree. And then I also created um, a big person, and a little car, and this is actually a pretty little person too. But all of this would go at the top of the paper. I would draw it first, color it, and then cut it out. So that's what I've done here. All right, so that's for the more advanced artists. If you're not just starting out or this is a little bit too much for you, just worry about the houses for now. All right, let's move on to our beautiful backdrop with our horizon line here and let's assemble our picture. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is plan out where you wanna put everything. If you start gluing and you don't know where it's gonna go, you might run out of room. So remember to put big at the bottom, medium in the middle, so halfway between the horizon line and the bottom of the paper is your middle ground here. And then we have tiny at the top. So here's our little tiny house over here. All right, so if you're just a beginner, this is how you're going to assemble to where your big house is near the bottom edge of the paper medium is kind of in the middle and the little house is right near that horizon line right there. Now for my more advanced artist, now you can add your um, other images. So your big images are going to be down here at the bottom. You could do it anywhere here at the bottom. 
You could even be covering up this house right here, so long as it starts at the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna put this tree here, and I'm gonna put my little dude here like he's about to open the door. And then I have a tree here. I'm gonna hide it behind this house right here. He's gonna overlap a little bit. That'll also help make it look farther away. And then we have this little tiny tree. He's gonna go back there along with our car and our little person. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. We have all the big things at the bottom, medium things in the middle, and little tiny things in the background. So here's our labels, middle ground, our foreground, whoop, and then all this back here would be the background. All right, so now last step is we're going to glue our images down. So when we glue, you can use glue stick if you rather, um, but definitely add lots of glue if you add the glue stick. We're going to go ahead and do the houses first. You flip it over to the back, and then you're going to put a line of glue, not right on the edge, but kind of near the edge, in a skinny line, as skinny as you can make it all the way around about a fourth to an eighth of an inch away from the edge. So it should look like that. If you do it right on the edge, it's going to gloop out and make a big mucky mess. Also, if you do too thick of a line, it's going to be mucky as well. So this is our middle ground, so he's going to go somewhere around here. And don't forget, you have to smush him down. If you did it right, there shouldn't be any glue smushing out the sides. It should all be, well, maybe a little tiny bit right there, but mostly all stays in the right spot. Okay, now let's go to our foreground house. Same thing, near the edge, but not right on the edge. We're gonna trace it with the glue, barely pressing the glue to come out. If you're doing this with a glue stick, it's basically the same thing, except you're going to use a glue stick all around the edges. Don't just put a big glob in the middle, because then the edges won't lay flat. Alright, so let's put that right here. And then our little guy is going to go in the back. Okay, so now if you are a beginning artist, you can be done right now, and this would be all you have to do. If you're my more advanced artist and you know who you are, go ahead and add your other images too. Glue them the same way, all the way around the edge. For little skinny things, you can just do a line, and then you would press them down to make sure that they all stay. And as always, be sure to post your video in the submit assignment section so that you can earn credit for this assignment. Thank you for watching guys and good luck.